Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, something that might please some users is possibly coming to 25H2. It has showed up in some of the uh, Windows Insider builds that actually test, especially the dev build that uh, is the test build for 25H2 coming up this fall. A lot of users, of course, take the time to use third-party software to remove apps they don't want. So they'll remove, you know, whatever app that is pre-installed using Windows 11 that they don't want. They're not you know, using Xbox gaming, so Xbox app removed, uh, whatever, uh, Microsoft Edge, and, and so on, are all things that people might be removing when they use these uh, third-party software. Well, it would seem that a group policy would be available starting with 25H2 that would let you choose the apps you would like to have removed from the operating system and then you'd be okay uh, with all of these gone without even having to use any other tools, just a group policy now. Um, we got to remind that the group policy or the uh, editing of group policies is only available in the pro version of Windows 11, unfortunately, but at least uh, it's there and it would let you uh, choose in a list here of all the different apps that exist that are pre-installed on Windows 11. You would put a check mark over all the ones you want removed and then you would apply and these would be gone. So this is a, an actual screenshot of the group policy uh, edit area where you would do this. So by default, this is off, but you can of course enable it and then have the, poly the possibility of removing these apps. So this is, I think, a step in a good direction, at least some way to remove core apps that people don't want. Um, of course, they could go a, a step further. Why not add the add remove? I mean, it's already there in the European version. It should be available also for us. But at least uh, it's a step in the good in the right direction, I think, for a lot of users. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.